really both thinking about but also involves our, our next award recipient is to thank those that are here tonight who have served in Iraq or are serving uh, in some capacity and particularly those who, uh, whose family, uh, the, the people whose families also are involved with someone serving in Iraq. And so could I ask you if you have served in Iraq or you have a family member that is serving in Iraq, could you please stand so that we can thank you? From the bottom of our hearts, thank you for all you have done. This next story is just such a remarkable one and one that I'm so pleased to be able to talk about. I'm sure that Gene Sitt doesn't uh, have, lack for things to do in his life with all his work and his family and many things that he has developed. He's a remarkable citizen of the state of Minnesota and an obviously a very successful business person as well. So the fact that Gene Sitt has taken the time out of that life to pull together the Minnesota Military Appreciation Fund is really one of those stories that is very both heartwarming and shows you the kind of place we live in and the kind of people who are part of our community here. Uh, Gene has really done a remarkable job of pulling that together and if, though you'll hear a little bit more about that, but it is really, they've so far raised since 2005, so it really has not been in existence for very long, over $5 million basically to contribute to families uh, who's, who have had soldiers who have died in combat. So obviously it's a very important cause and it's a remarkable what Gene has also done just by way of pulling together a coalition. We could we can learn much from him in this respect because of course his bipartisan group uh, includes co-chairs of former Senators Wendell Anderson, Rudy Boschwitz, Dave Durenberger, former Vice President Walter Mondale, I think Joan Grow of course is involved as well, Governor Arne Carlson. So he's pulled together a group of people and a cause uh, and has already made a really major contribution in the work that he's done and we're here to honor him. So please join me in welcoming Gene Sitt. Thank you, uh, Keith. It's an honor for me to be here tonight. As Keith said, I, my full-time job, my day job, is that of an investment manager. And I found at Sit Investment Associates about 25 years ago. But I'm not here to talk about that tonight. I'm here to talk about my other important passion. And that is the Minnesotans Military Appreciation Fund, an organization that is dedicated to show thank you and appreciation for our Minnesota military and their families, people who are putting their lives on the line for our freedom. I am co-founder with other people of this organization that we call MMAF for short. And I'd just like to share with you the MMAF story and the impact that we are making since our launch approximately two years ago. Our mission is the following, and the genesis is this. Now, about four years ago, my good friend Jack Vesey and I were discussing the war in Iraq and the noble efforts of our Minnesota soldiers in particular. And before I go further, General Vesey is with us tonight, truly one of our great Americans. Jack, would you please stand and be recognized? <laughs> we discussed that this war has had an unprecedented reliance on our Guard and Reserve units. And I wanted a way to say thank you to those friends and neighbors who are serving our country, these noble men and women. I thought that if I felt that way, others must also have similar feelings. So I enlisted a small group of patriotic Minnesotans, and Keith has recognized some of them. And I did that from people with both sides of the political aisles, who believe in the mission of saying thank you to fellow Minnesotans who have served in the war. And many of these people are here tonight, some of the co-chairs 
Oversee member, overseers, members, service partners, volunteers, grant recipient, and again, I'd like to see them all stand up and be recognized, please. Wendell, come on. It would not have happened without them. Our leadership group subsequently formed the Minnesotans Military Appreciation Fund, or MMAF for short. It is a 501c3 nonprofit corporation. It is nonpartisan, it is nonpolitical, and it's largely volunteer run. Our mission is very simple. Minnesotan thanking Minnesota soldiers. And as a way to accomplish this mission, we provide cash grants to Minnesotans who have served in combat since September 11, 2001. We give $500 grants to soldiers who have served, 5,000 grants to the families of soldiers killed, and anywhere from 2,000 to 10,000 grants to soldiers wounded in combat, depending on the severity of the injury. While we realize that our grants may not make a big difference financially, these grants are an embodiment of our Minnesota values, a citizen's effort to show appreciation and to boost military morale. MMAF intends to say thank you and provide these grants until this war is over and the last Minnesota soldier comes home. A secondary mission of MMAF is raising public awareness about the large number of Minnesotans serving in war and the tremendous sacrifices these men and women and their families are making. What about our progress? Since our launch in August of 2005, we have now raised about $6 million and issue over 3,700 grants, 3,700 grants to Minnesota soldiers and their families. Unfortunately, 31 of those grants have been to families of soldiers killed. Over 100 have been to wounded soldiers, and the remaining have been to those who have served honorably. Applications for grants continue to come into our office, and we are an investment office in our day job, at a rate of about 150 per week. And we are expecting a big surge of applications once the 30, 3,100 Minnesotans whose tours have been extended return home, hopefully in early August. What has been our impact? Are we making a difference? I can tell you that we are. This war is unpopular. Fundraising is hard, but we know that our efforts are making a difference. Minnesota supports and appreciates its troops. Sometimes the grants meet financial needs. A recent widow wrote to us, and I quote here her letter, thank you for your generous grant you bestow upon my family and upon the death of my husband, a young widow. I have used your gift to pay off the remaining balance of his funeral expenses. The Army doesn't even pay for that, unfortunately, even though he gave his life on our behalf and have some repairs done on the home. Another wrote that, but more often we hear how good it feels to be thanks. One letter stated, it makes me so proud of everything that I stand for and what Minnesota stands for. Thank you for taking the time to thank our troops. It really means a lot, end quote. Another example of the power of saying thank you was when I delivered one of the first grants to a soldier recovering at the Minneapolis VA hospital. Sergeant Gerald Pate was hit by a roadside bomb and lost partial sight in both eyes. He was married with three teenage kids. I could not believe it when he said to us and to me that I was the first public citizen from Minnesota to go out and thank him and his family for his service, which is absolutely unbelievable. On the way out, his caseworker told us how saying thanks 
boosted his morale, and that our grant may have, in fact, saved their home. His wife recently lost her job, and they, they did not know how they were going to make the mortgage payment. We are making a difference in the lives of these Minnesota heroes serving our country. MMAF grant recipients are my heroes, and I just cite a few of them. People like Lance Corporal Kyle Anderson, a 2003 high school state wrestling champion who now lives with traumatic brain injury, and he was our first 10,000 grant recipient. And then there's Sergeant Brian Sarisso of Duluth. Sergeant Sarisso is a double amputee. He was presented with the Bronze Star, the fourth highest military honor at our fundraiser in mid-February. And there's Sergeant John Carisso, whom you read about over the last couple weeks and also saw clips of him on Channel 11. Sergeant Carisso is now adjusting to life as a double amputee. He may be broken in body, but I tell you, in meeting him, his spirit is every bit as patriotic as any American can be. We cannot underestimate the sacrifices made by our military or the impact of saying thanks. And let me now thank you for recognizing my role, our roles, with the Minnesota Military Appreciation Fund and for our men and women and their family for serving our country. Thank you very much.